looking for something to do this weekend? Grace Bradley takes us to Bradley to see how the main prepping for their big event Saturday. It's just beautiful here. I love it. On Saturday, you can get a taste of Maine's rich logging and forestry history, all while witnessing the migration of hundreds of thousands of alewife fish. Every year, we have a migration of the alewives, which is a river herring. They come up Blackman Stream, and they migrate their way up to Chuma Pond. I'm hoping that for the fish, you will see a huge influx of them as the day as it warms up. Sunday, we had, I think, 12,500 that went up through the fish ladder, and Monday, we had 15,000 by, I think it was 10 a.m. Alongside the alewife migration, the museum will be brimming with activity for all age fun and learning. You can participate in the 5K fun run, visit the blacksmith shop or water powered sawmill, or the smokehouse to sample some alewives yourself. We have been here for over 60 years. We cover over 400 acres. It's a living history museum. Logging is such an incredible history, especially here in Maine. You know, I love talking to people and you usually find someone whose father, grandfather, great grandfather, grandmother has had logging in their, in their family history. Perfectly placed to see the alewives pass through during their pilgrimage, the museum saw it as an opportunity for a lesson in Maine forestry history. Part of the history with Maine and forest industry, especially out in the woods, would be trying to maintain your logging camps with um, fresh produce, fish, and so smoking was a big part of that. In this area, because of the migration of the alewives, it gave them that unique opportunity to have a supplement for their food source. It's a beautiful location, and, and we just have so many things going on all day long. Grace Bradley, WABI TV5 News, Bradley. The fun run is slated to start at 9 a.m. and the festivities run until 3 p.m. It costs $10 for adults and $5 for kids, but museum members get in free. For more information, visit MaineForestAndLoggingMuseum.org.